Hi, it's Neil Sean here on your entertainment news. We are, of course, with a legend, none other than Mr. Pete Waterman, who tells us all about the fame game and, of course, his passion for trains too. Remember, though, Pete, you miss it, you miss out. Don't miss Pete today on your entertainment news. Pete, lovely to see you again. Thank you. Now, we're going to talk about two things. Uh, I know a passion of yours is railways and model railways. I've been reading your book. You've got me hooked on that now. Great. Uh, and, of course, the fame game. Uh, now, what fascinates me is if there's anybody who could write a book on fame, it's got to be you, because you've been through so many different aspects of it. Why did you decide to put your thoughts of it down? Only because I, uh, I think uh, it's so much part of what I do and part of my way of life, I never thought of it. And it was only... You know, when somebody said, but, you know, you have these rules, why don't you put them into a book? I didn't want to make it a big deal. So when we came up with a format where it's fun, and a little bit, you know, it's light entertainment, then I said, fine, I'll, I'll, you know, um, I'll do it. Um, so it's, you know, I didn't, I, I don't think anybody can write a book exactly what it takes. This book says, do you know how good you are? Yeah. And it, it basically gives you um, tests and, and says, well, how do you think this guy made it? But did he or did she? You know, uh, and we put in there in in the book. There's like two days, the first two days of Kylie's promotion, and I should be so lucky. And we say, look, she got off a plane after 24 hours, and this was her two-day schedule. Could you actually do this? Yeah, which is actually, um, I think, a really valid point in what you're saying because kids think about being a pop star. But they don't like the unglamorous bits of the 4 a.m. rises for breakfast TV. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the continual promotion, because it never really stops when you no. stand on the, the treadmill, no. does it? And if somebody rings you at 10.15 at night and says that, you know, a, a spot has come on a big late night show, uh, you've got to go and do it. Yeah. But you've got to be as enthusiastic as it was for, you know, TV AM. Yeah. You know, 12 hours before. And if you've just done a 24 hour flight on a plane, um, and, you know, it's easy. To look at you know people like the pop stuff, but you look at Simon Cowell. Yeah. You know Simon Cowell works 20 hours a day, seven days a week. He's in Los Angeles. He's running his businesses in London via the phone. So even when he you know Britain's in bed, he's up grafting and he's ringing all these guys back in London to make sure they're getting ready for the show the next week. But you talk about him grafting. I mean, I was reading your autobiography, and what I loved about it, and we were talking about getting noticed and stuff, when you were a DJ, you had a, a red stripe, right? yeah. which I just think is genius, yeah. because that's branding before branding, isn't it? Like, everybody knew the bloke with the stripe. Was that the idea, obviously? Yeah, uh, um, and it wasn't my idea. I mean, you know, I'd copied Jimmy Savile, who, who, who dyed his hair tartan. I wasn't brave enough to dye my hair tartan. Um, and it was when coloured hair for, for women was just coming out and I thought, well, if I had a red stripe, you know, everybody would know <laughs> who I was. So, uh, you know, it, it really, what well, I never even sat down and thought about this as yeah. you know, an image. It was just something I thought that I could do that would, would just be a little bit different. Over 26 years ago, uh, nobody else gave the time of day. Uh, he drove me completely barmy, but I saw something in him. I gave him that time. I, I, I stayed with him, uh, working with him, although we, you know, we drove each other barmy, uh, because I believed in the guy's talent. He's got what I don't have. I wish I had the ruthless streak that Simon has. I don't have that. Do you know, I wish we could bottle you. You've got so much energy. Pete Waterman, as ever, it's been an absolute thrill. Thanks.